Good morning guys and welcome to my channel, welcome to my fitness vlog. Um, I think this is the third week of me doing it. I think I've been on my first solo Sunday run in quite a while actually. Normally on a Sunday I run with a running partner but she's gone AWOL, I don't know where she's gone. <laughs> I haven't heard from her so, um, so I just yeah came on my solo run which is because obviously when I run with my running partner we run somewhere else so when I run by myself I always run in my my favourite place because uh, it's just like surrounded by green it's on the river it's lovely here so uh so yeah i always run here so yeah i'm slowly working up my time in terms of um trying to get faster i'm still stopping every so often because uh, as i found as i was running i was like right we're gonna try and run that little bit longer and stop for a shorter amount of time and uh, and i could feel my my calves sort of tensing up a bit and I was like no I'm not going to let them defeat me this time I'm going to keep running until I get to a certain point but then my lungs were just like no no you're not going to keep running <laughs> you're going to stop so uh, so yeah I had to stop for a few moments but I had that a few times in terms of it weren't because normally it's my legs that have been giving up on me recently but I think it's because I'm trying to get my like broaden my stride so I'm not like because I think that's what happens because I have if I have like pigeon steps when I run it tenses up my calves and then that gives me cramp but if I broaden my stride so um, I'm stretching my calves as I run that takes more energy so then so then it's my lungs and my stomach I actually felt like quite sick in my stomach at one point because I think I was just over overdoing it so uh, so it's finding that happy medium right now <laughs> which uh, which I'm, I'm struggling to find but it's still like I'm, I'm doing better like I said I'm running for longer and I'm having to stop to recover for a shorter amount of time so that's good so my I think my average time was like six minutes 48 I think I know I was just under I think I was 27 minutes and 58 seconds for four kilometers just over four kilometers I was at 4.03 kilometers or something so yeah so if you want to work out the average that's what the average is um so that's that's good I think the last time it was like it was all over the place but yeah, my, my second kilometre was the longest because obviously that includes a, a steep hill for me to run up and I walked up it because I, like, I, I just ran most of the first kilometre um, and I was just, and I pushed myself to do that. So I was like, there's no way I'm going to be able to run up the hill because it's literally just after the first kilometre is this big hill. Um, so I didn't do it. But what I always do is I psych myself up to do the last hill because literally as I come, I go up the hill then as I come down it and just run a, run a long like a, a little path um that takes me to four kilometers because i do four kilometers on my solo runs and yeah that seems to like that's that's doable the last one because it's if it's quite a, it's a steep ish climb but it's not as bad as the other hill the other hill's like shorter but steeper this one is longer but not as steep but obviously so they're equally <laughs> i think they're equal in in sort of difficulty because of the uh the distance or the the well, not cadence. What is it? The the elevation, as they call it, on the uh, on my running app. What else have I got this week? So this week I'll be hopefully changing to a later time for my pole class, um, which obviously is good for me because it means less stress having to get ready to go. Um, but it also means as I'll be later, there's not really any chance of me being able to do a talk about it after because it'll be guaranteed to be dark by the time I finish because obviously it's at 8.30 and I won't be getting out of the class till after 9.30 but I'm hoping this class will be better because it will be in the intermediate class it means I can actually practice the things I want to practice in in pole which is inverts so uh, so yeah we'll just see how that goes yes I'm, I'm still not happy about the fact that I seem to have gained a pound when I last weighed myself and uh, also because our friend came around yesterday we had fish and chips <laughs> <laughs> take away so obviously that's not a good thing to have when you're trying to lose weight but um but yeah as of like this week we've not really got anything planned we me and my husband will be going out for valentine's we're, we're planning on doing a valentine's meal while bobs is at nursery like we'll be going out somewhere just to treat ourselves but other than that there's nothing else really planned so hopefully it means i can just buckle down and just concentrate on trying to get get my weight down but yeah I'm trying to not let it get to me because I do think it has to do with one my body kind of just getting back into the whole thing of like building up my muscle I'm probably retaining a lot of water as well because of the weight loss and also my diet change and stuff so and also because I was on my period as well last week so that probably didn't help um but my main thing what I want to do this week is actually buy myself one of those big bottles that has the lines on it because this is the only bottle I have right now 
and I don't like drinking out of it because the, the nozzle's gone a bit mouldy. So it's good to bring on a, on a run because it's small, it's carry, like I can carry it and I can take it to the gym and stuff, or well, say to the gym to pole. So it's fine for that sort of stuff, but in terms of me trying to drink every day, I just don't, I'm not motivated to drink out of it. And it's really difficult to clean the, the I think it's a Carrymore one, no, Camelback. It's a Carrymore. Yeah, it's a Camelback one. Their nozzles are rubbish. They are so difficult to clean. Like, this is like my third new one, this particular nozzle. Um, the straws are fine, it's just the, the bit that you drink out of because it's so difficult. Because I've got a, a specific draw, straw brush and it's all around like the lip bit. It just gets like really mouldy and manky. So I just find it really, really difficult to, yeah, keep clean. And yeah, this one, like I said, it's my third one and it's got mouldy in like the space of like six months or whatever it is. So I'll probably make to like change them every couple of like every month or something <laughs> but yeah it's just incredibly frustrating so i just need one that has like just a simple straw like what my husband's got is one is great because it's just like a quite a broad straw that you can just rinse out so um and it's got the the measurements on it on where you what you should be drinking your your drinking goals because i definitely think that's a big problem of mine is drinking more water so yeah i think that's what i'm going to treat myself to this month is uh, one of those and see if that makes any difference so hopefully i can find one this week other than that, I can't think of anything else. I'm still, like, I'm still trying to get back into my stretches and my weights at home for when, like, Bubs is at nursery because I definitely want to get back into... Because I tried that, like, a specific yoga workout for back stretches and, like, bad posture because I definitely think that's what I need to start doing. I need to start, like, broadening my shoulders because I do... I definitely know that I hunch and I think if I do that, that will help with my back pain a bit. So I definitely want to try and squeeze that in. It's just the problem in terms of the sort of moves that she does. You need a lot of floor space for it, and I don't have a lot of floor space. So, yeah, it's trying to work around that. And also, like I said, just trying to fit it in somewhere in terms of in my day. But anyway, on that note, I'd better head home and have some breakfast because I'm getting hungry and I need to have a shower because I'm actually quite sweaty today. Because it's, I don't know what the, I think it's like five degrees or something. So, anyway, I shall most likely see you tomorrow. Maybe. Yes, whenever. Tuesday, probably. I don't know. Anyway, I'll see you at some point. Morning, guys. Just a quick one. So that was my Tuesday run. Again, it was a, a great run in terms of um, I was running for longer stints of time without stopping and also my stops were shorter. So it feels like my legs are recovering a lot quicker and obviously getting tighter a lot slower it's like i'm not isn't because before it was just like nothing nothing then like, like really sharp pains in my legs now it's just like it's getting there slowly over time which is good because it means then i can be like right well at least i can make it to like this signpost or that bend in the road or that hill or whatever also i think i've actually successfully run up every single hill on this run today thinking about it i may have stopped at the after the first one because my legs were just like oh my god what was that but i did run up the whole way so and the um the last one as well didn't feel so tough maybe because the first one's steeper and obviously i'm conditioning myself to be able to run up that one it meant that the end one it was just more i just felt absolutely exhausted so uh, but it weren't my legs that were telling me to stop so so it was very good. I think, yeah, so I started off quite slow. Um, I think like my first kilometre was like seven minutes, 45 seconds or something. Then it went to seven and a half. And I think my last two were like six and a half, six minutes, 45. So like I said, I'm slowly, slowly getting there. I think it, I was at like 28 minutes for four kilometres. So, so yeah, very pleased with myself today. It is a lot warmer today as well. There's a there's a wind that's incredibly biting. Like when I started running, I was like, oh my God, this is horrible. But once <laughs> once I actually got a sweat on, I was like, that wind's actually quite nice. So now I'm like all sweaty and stuff. And a beautiful sunrise as well. So I managed to get a few pictures of that and I think a bit of video, so. But yeah, I need to head home because of, I'm not sure if my husband's gonna need the car because it's, it's like really sunny that end, but towards home, it's like really thick, dark clouds. So I have a feeling it might rain. But yeah, I might as well just head home anyway because it's half half eight and it gives them the luxury of either choosing to walk or, or take the car. Anyway, I will see you later. I won't be able to do my exercises today, although it's just, just my stretches today. I did my weights yesterday. 
that worked out but um, I won't be able to do my stretches today because I'll be doing a live stream um, during the time that I would be doing it but I'll definitely do my weights tomorrow but anyway on that note gotta go so I'll speak to you later morning guys so it's Thursday and I didn't go on my run because I was up till like one o'clock in the morning playing power wash <laughs> don't ask but um, luckily I don't feel so tired today and because Bubs is at nursery most of the day it means uh, at least have a pretty chill day or I'll be um, doing some editing but anyway I don't feel so bad about missing my run uh, this morning because obviously I've got pole tonight first pole class at the later slot so first pole class of intermediate so we'll see how we get on also new bottle because my old bottle the straw has gone manky and the amount of times I change the straw it doesn't take long before it does go manky it's just all these nooks and crannies in it that just like it's really difficult to clean so lucky I've got one that's got this like a really simple straw on it I don't understand why like the, the one that I do like my old one that I can't have a simple straw like that but yeah it's got the times on it because that's that's my worst thing is I just can't like I never drink enough water I can never like get myself to drink enough water so this actually has the times on it and when I should be drinking so I thought yeah great also love the color color is just amazing not really a pink person but it mixed with other colors I, I like I like this sort of green as well and also how cool is this it comes with its own straw brush and other little cleaning instruments to clean my my uh, my bottle with. So I'm happy with that. I thought it was a great purchase. Very happy. So yeah, that's the thing for today. I've just had my breakfast. Hubby is dropping bubs off at nursery. Uh, I'm trying to drink my first water of the day. And then, yeah, I need to go and have my shower. That's it. That's, a, <laughs> that's all I could talk about. I realised I exported and went to upload my my next vi fitness video as in the one before this. Um, and I was meant to do some commentary and exported it before realising that I haven't done the commentary. And I didn't save the work in progress. So, and I did it all yesterday, literally in one sitting. And I don't think there's a backup. So... Yay me, I don't know, I need, that's my main thing, I need to try and figure out what I'm doing. But yeah, on that note, seeing as that's not a fitness thing, let's see you tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> no, okay. Saturday. I'll talk to you then. Yeah, so I'll probably see you Saturday for weigh-in. I don't know what to expect with the weigh-in, to be honest. I've been good this week, but I've been quite, in terms of diet, but I've been quite static in terms of not a lot of exercise, I feel, because of, um lots of sitting in front of a computer and stuff and I'm and because I was rushing yesterday to get my vlog done I didn't do my exercises I didn't do my weights so I'm determined to do my stretches today but yeah we'll just have to see but yeah on that note I shall see you Saturday so wish me luck <laughs> oh, I need to lose some weight this week because it's really dark out today it's just very cloudy um so it's saturday my husband is out taking bubs to his rugby class so i've had like an hour of peace or i'm having an hour of peace right now i've had my breakfast my omelette i'm having my second cup of tea of the day because i don't care <laughs> i'm so ill um i don't know if you can tell from my voice i've got like worse sore throat yesterday i just sat on the sofa and i just did nothing oh well i barely did anything i had to cook dinner i had sausages Homemade chips, which I did in the air, in the air fryer, and baked beans. I need to work out how I'm actually supposed to measure the chips, because yeah, I don't know how that's gonna work. <laughs> but yeah, so yesterday was a bad day. I got to have my sorted caramel cookie stuffed cookie thing. I've been having every weekend. It's the one thing I allow myself, like a, as a treat at the weekend. And um, so I had that yesterday as well and but I was kind of in that frame of mind like I really don't care like I didn't drink anything yesterday other than tea because my throat was so sore anything that was cold just really hurt my throat so I was just like you know what I'm just gonna drink hot drinks all day but I've got to try and drink more today because 
I do feel like almost hungover, like my my brain is just so dehydrated today. So I definitely want to get back onto the water, even if it really does hurt my throat. But yeah, so I was kind of past caring. I thought like if my weight, when I weigh myself tomorrow, turns out really bad, then I really don't care. I'm like I said, I'm past caring. But as you would have seen, it was actually <laughs> it's better than I thought it would be. I've actually lost, I think it's nearly, nearly two and a half pounds considering like I weighed myself with all my clothes on I hadn't hadn't been to the toilet I know TMI but yeah I hadn't been to the toilet I still had all my well, like my PJs on or whatever so so yeah it's 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 a good good start I hope it lasts but yeah so basically I woke up yesterday just my entire body ached and I didn't know if it was from pole the day before or from the flu as I got up later I realized a lot of it was flu but it was probably a mixture of both because obviously Thursday was my first intermediate pole class. <laughs> I'm just in so much pain. Uh, yeah, it was my first intermediate pole class. So basically it's a massive jump up to what I have been doing, which has been like spins and like different like split grips and different things like that, um, to now being completely pretty much all inverts um so I've gone from sneaking in like an invert at the end of the class to this class being entirely inverts yeah I was like I was just completely inverted out by the end of the class I was knackered I've taken chunks out of the inside of my leg because obviously I, I was getting like more and more tired as I was trying to get myself up the pole and so I kept like knocking my hand that was like my leg kept knocking into my thumbnail so I like kept catching my leg. This finger is in a lot large amount of pain in terms of I think I must have pulled a muscle in it. It's fine now but as soon as I lift anything with this hand I just get this shooting pain go through my finger. Um, yesterday was horrible in terms of because I was having like shooting pains going up my leg, I had shooting pains going through my finger, I had shooting pains going through my arm. I was about to have a heart attack because of the pain in my arm. But yeah but today this arm I can't like stretch out or, or bend without feeling it but it's mainly in the small of my back I thought I was going to be in a lot of pain with my shoulders because when I came down the pole I came down quite hard or quite repetitively onto them I mean yeah it's a mat but it's not as forgiving as having like a cushion or something so I thought I was going to have really bad shoulders but I don't it's my my the small of my back that's really hurting but yeah my legs are feeling it as well so yeah it's just one of those things I have to say though because um, part of the conditioning in the higher levels is to try the split grip, which you remember I was talking about last week. And uh, and I thought, you know what, I've got to keep got to keep trying. I'm going to keep doing the stretches still that I do at home and just see if that does anything. And I have to say, there has been a vast improvement in what I can actually do. Like before, I haven't even been able to lift my feet from the floor. Like you go into the split grip and then you're supposed to sort of like straddle just to sort of put all the weight in your in your hands sort of thing and yeah and there was there wasn't as much like normally as soon as I go into that or try to go into it like even try lifting my feet up I get really bad pain shoot through my bottom arm but yesterday it was kind of more just like an ache and I didn't want to do it too much because I didn't want to sort of take the piss and then go back to where I started so I'm definitely going to keep up the stretches because it seems to be the only thing that I've ever tried that actually seems to make any difference so yeah that's that's the one good thing to take away from Thursday but yeah I'm in a I'm in a lot of pain but I know that's that's good because hopefully that means now I'm in the intermediate class that my strength will be getting better will be improving a lot quicker than being in the lower class and really not being able to to do as much but yeah we'll just have to see like I said, this week this week has been okay. It's not been the best week. Like I said, I think the, the streams that I did kind of scuppered all my plans in terms of doing my stretches, doing my weights at home and different things like that. Obviously, I missed a run. I potentially might miss a run tomorrow because see, I've got to see how I feel. But it's always the way, isn't it, when you have a lot of plans for your, for your fitness or like exercises or whatever, something always tends to get in the way. Yeah, so on that note, I'm going to end this video and I'll... Uh, see you next week so if you did enjoy this video please do leave a like because it helps the channel out um you can also subscribe if you haven't already um you can follow me on social media as well the links will be down below if you're interested in following sort of like my day-to-day -day life because my life is so rude <laughs> i actually do subscriber vlogs um for people who donate to my patreon or to my coffee or um who subscribe to my twitch again all the links will be down below 
um, if that's something that would interest you. Um, like I said, the the my life vlogs I do are um, purely exclusively for my my subscribers. So yeah, if you want to join or donate, links would be down below. If you do, it would be incredibly helpful and incredible, like just truly appreciated. But anyway, on that note, I'm gonna say love you guys, and I shall see you all in the next video. Bye.